What's going on everyone? So today I'm going to be showing you how to play Cracked and Pirated games on your Steam Deck. Obviously I can't show you how to get the games or where to get them from, but I can show you how to get them on your Steam Deck and how to get them working. The one I'm going to be using is obviously my PC. I'm going to be using this SanDisk Extreme 256GB SD card and also this SD card reader. Now that you can also use an external drive that connects to your computer via USB and then connects to the deck via USB-C, but this is the way I do it with the SD card and the SD card reader. So the first thing you're going to want to do is you're going to want to get your games on the SD card itself. See, I have a folder with the games in it. These are a few that I want to get on there and test. Now there will be, depending on what you download and the file size of your game, there will be games that are already basically pre-installed. You won't have to run an exe file that has an installer that will install them. It's like Stardew Valley, for example. This one didn't have an installer, it actually came with the full game in the folder, so I wouldn't have to do anything with that. But other games, larger ones, will sometimes, well most of the time, have an exe file, which will have to install the game first. I recommend installing it on your computer into a separate folder, and then dragging it to the SD card then to bring it over to your deck. I wouldn't recommend installing it on the deck itself with the installer. You can do that, but I, the way I've been doing it is installing it on my computer first, and transferring the whole game directory onto the SD card. Okay, so now that we have our games here, we're going to get them over to the deck, and then I'm going to show you how to get them running. Let's check it out. All right, so the first thing you're going to want to do is switch to desktop mode. And once you're on the desktop mode, I have my SD card in, so I'm going to go to the bottom. I'm going to go to mount and open. All right, and these are the games that I put on my SD card before. Now, what I like to do is I like to have one folder for all my games, so I have this one right here. These are the other three games that I brought over here that um, actually work, is Katamari Mafia 2 and Slay the Spire. Now, what we're gonna do is... I'm going to hold and drag. I'm going to cut these out of here and put them right in my games folder. Okay, now that they are done transferring, I'm gonna close this down. Hit this again to get it out of my way. And as you can see, we do have the games on here now. Now the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna test out Stardew Valley. We're gonna open Steam up. We're gonna add a game. We're gonna add a non-Steam game. We're gonna go to Browse. Click up here and you're going to hit slash home. You go into deck, desktop, games, and then we will go Stardew Valley. Then we make sure we check off under file type of all files. And then we're going to look for the exe file. Okay. We can always click by file type if we wanted to to make it easier. If I could find it. Okay, I found it. Finally. So here it is right here. We're gonna hit open. We're gonna hit add select the program. Down the left side under our games, we're gonna go to Stardew Valley. We're gonna go to the little gear icon to manage. Then we're gonna go to properties. Then we'll go to compatibility and we're gonna check off this box. Force the use. Alright, we're gonna close that out. And now we can go into SteamOS mode and check out and see if it works from there. Alright, so now that we're on the SteamOS desktop, we're going to hit Steam button. We're going to go to our library. Of course, we're going to go to non-Steam games. It's going to be on top right. And then here is Stardew Valley, so let's launch it up.
far so good. Seems to be working. It looks like the controls are detected automatically for the gamepad. Some games will not do this. Some games just won't work at all. You probably have to remap them with using the mouse and keyboard setting or a different type of controller layout. So we can test this out really quick. Is that a new game? So good, games to be working pretty fine. I never played Stardew Valley before, probably something I should play. But I think this game is working pretty good. Right, now we're gonna exit out of this, we're gonna head back and we're gonna do the other two games that I transferred to the SD card. So we're gonna exit out of this, our Steam button and exit game. And then we're gonna switch back to the desktop mode. All right, now that we're back on the desktop boat, let's make a shortcut to the other two games so we don't have to come back here. So we're going to go back to Steam again. And we're going to add the other two. Okay, that's one of them. Let's add the other one. Okay, now that we added the other two, we can go right back and switch to the SteamOS mode. All right, now that we switched back, let's go to our library again. Time. Let's try a Weed Shop 3 and see. First, I completely forgot to actually go back into the properties and set them for compatibility, so we're gonna do that for both of them. Let's see if this one works. Some of them might not work, but so far all the ones I tested work. So it looks like this one is one is working too. Okay, so no controller inputs, but maybe this is what the mouse does. What? Go check our settings first.
Okay, so apparently we shot three does not work. And what goes up to about 50% loading, 60% and crashes. So let's test out manhunt, see if that works. So, what we can do is... What's our options? Take the layout, we can do... Button. Need the empty key. Okay, let's try that out. This enter does work. Go to our settings. Here we can set the resolution. Everything up, let's put everything on max, see what happens. Keep these settings. I guess we do have to map. Let's, let's use the mouse for now. Get, get your, your head, head straight. straight. Don't, Don't let, let these crazy, crazy spy get that man on his work. Move into the, the shadows. shadows. They, they can't, can't see, see you in the darkness. darkness. all right well that's pretty much it if anyone has any questions you can ask me down in the comments i'll try my best to answer and i hope this helps anyone who's looking for this